folks, welcome to uh, part one of the Ferrari 250 GTO. This has been about two years in development for me to do research, uh, have CAD drawings made up as close to scale as possible, uh, have everything printed out, have all the, the uh, wood printed out for the body model. You know, this is a pretty substantial project that we're going to be doing, but also a very cool one as well. So I'm going to grab the camera. We're going to do a little walk around of this, and I'll uh, explain to you a little bit more about it. So I'm sure a lot of you had watched Ferrari, Ford versus Ferrari, I'm sorry, uh, the movie. This is the car that Henry Ford destined to beat in Le Mans, the 24 hour race. There were only 33, I believe, of these built of this style and only a few of the Gen 2. Uh, 62 and 63 <clears throat> excuse me were this body style and the 64 they made uh, uh, some slight changes to the way the uh, the rear window and whatnot come down the front they changed that a little bit but uh, overall <clears throat> this is it really not a very big car whatsoever Originally, they had a V12, a 3-liter Colombo V12 in it, um, and these cars were designed for racing. So, get to the top of it a little bit. You know, the doors aren't very big. You're pretty cramped in there. It's not very wide. going to be made out of aluminum just like the originals were and uh, yeah we got a lot of work ahead of us but it's going to be a fun project and uh, rewarding in the end just uh, satisfaction of doing it now there were replicas made up of this already. There were some fiberglass ones made. Uh, I think they actually, it was a kit that if I remember correctly, I think it was for a 240Z Datsun. Um, Rod Tempero uh, over in, I think he's in Finland, if I'm not mistaken. He has built some of these in aluminum. Uh, very, very, very nice replicas. Um, you know, this is the highest selling car ever to go through an auction. Um, some say it sold for 54 and I've heard them say it sold as high as $70,000. That might have been with all of the uh, buyer's fees and whatnot. I'm not sure about it, but um, yeah, this was the uh, most expensive car ever to go through an auction because they're fair, they're rare. Uh, like I said, there's 33, I think, of these, this body style and four of the uh, Gen 2 that came out. <clears throat> but in the movie Ford versus Ferrari, this is, like I said, this is the one that Henry Ford was destined to beat um, when they came out with the, uh, you know, the GT40s and, and whatnot. You know, and the GT, the 40s stood for 40 inches tall. That's how high the, the Ford was. This is also 40 inches. So, kind of some similarities there, you know, aerodynamics, whatnot. But uh, as I said, this is going to be a great build. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of it. Uh, we're going to get started. We, I have full prints. I'll take you in uh, my conference room and I'll show you the other prints that I have made out so we can kind of template the body panels off of that in order to create this body.
Okay, so we're in the green room, the conference room. Um, my office is also green, it's a different shade, that's all. Um, this, I'll grab the camera so you can get a little bit better view of this. The lines aren't very thick or, or uh, real dark on this. So, But this is a full size side profile of the vehicle. I also have the rear, the front, the top, everything I need to make patterns up off of this and put it on the aluminum to make the body panels so we get the right shapes. So let me grab the camera and I'll pull it up a little closer so you guys can see what uh, I'm planning on doing here. Now, you can see there, let me lower this down a little bit. All right. As you can see, that's the headlight area there. <clears throat> There's the wheels or the front wheel, I'm sorry, but now over here, I've overlaid a piece of paper over top of that so we can trace we can trace this door section. We can do the upper frame <coughs> and the outer skin all in one piece of paper here. I have a 36 inch piece of paper on this. So what we'll do, you know, we'll trace this all exactly out. Now it's going to have to be a little oversized for bending around our door skin and whatnot. Um, but we'll take this piece of paper, we'll lay it on the sheet of aluminum and we'll go around that, put it on the aluminum, scribe it on there and then we'll cut that out and then we'll start shaping the body panels as we go. I <clears throat> Also, let me move this camera back and you can see I have a wire wire rod, metal rod profile, side profile that I made up of this as well. So like I said, this car is really not that big but it was designed for racing. There you have it. This is going to be the start of the 62, 63, actually, uh, Ferrari 250 GTO. So I've copied my patterns off of the one on the wall. Um, we're getting ready, for everything ready here. We need a starting point, so we need to try to line up uh, a starting spot. And I think I'm going to try to go with the wheel opening on the front. Everything seems to line up pretty decent there so far. All this extra stuff that's wrinkled up here, this is all the metal that will need to be shrunk. Paper does the same thing that the metal actually does. And if we pull that over, that shrinks that up. So that's what we need to do to the metal. So we've got to work everything carefully and slow just to make sure everything's in the right spot. And then we'll transfer everything over to the metal. And uh, the next spot, uh, thing to do after that then is to get it cut out and start shaping it. Now this fender will probably do in at least two pieces, probably three actually, maybe four, uh, because it already come up so far. And then we've got to work it over. So there may be a split here across the top, and we'll do the other section from the hood over to this top edge of the fender and then we'll teak weld all that in there and get it smoothed out. And it'll look like one giant piece of aluminum when we're done. So we have our side templates 
one here, uh, just for push bend right now. What I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with a rocket thing I want to get. And, uh, try to get up. Try to get us close to where we're going to need to be uh, for the door, <clears throat> the firewall, everything else. So, what I've done, this isn't done yet. I started rolling this in a roar and uh, try to get this contour. I need to go a little bit more with it. So, we're going to go back over. To the roller and uh, the slip roll, and we're going to roll that through there a little bit more, get this contour a little bit more rounded. Now we're dealing with aluminum, so I always want to make sure that our rolls are nice and clean, no dirt, dust on it that'll just embed into the aluminum because it's a lot softer. All right. Set this up and I'll be back. All right. So I've made the driver's side rocker panel up and uh, I went ahead and bent the flanges over on it, whatnot. Uh, but we do the passenger side, I will probably go step by step through that to show you guys. What I did, I bent that flange over there and then the one going into uh, the kick panel going into the, the door on the bottom. But I put slices in these wooden bucks uh, for this edge to sit in there. We got four across here and I got one this way. So now all we got to do is. Uh, up. Wall off. A little bit of smoothing yet. This starts to taper out right here at the door line anyway. Uh, it comes up over the wheel well. Uh, the, this, this quarter panel swells out. So uh, we got a good start to it. 
me grab the camera here and I'll see if I can lower it down and show you guys where we're at here. Get you zoomed in. Yeah, it actually fits pretty well. A little bit of smoothing yet, that's no big deal. Got to do a little planching. That'll come around really nice. But, uh, yeah, we'll get the other one made up. And as I said, we'll probably do a step-by-step -step on that one. So, I'll be back with that. Okay, so we made our first door skin up and, <coughs> excuse me, I took a template, I made a template off of our first door skin of the actual size of the left one. We're going to copy that for the passenger side, the right side. <coughs> so what I did... I'll lay this paper on there and I will trace <clears throat> and cut along all the edges, including the flange that I have bent over on all the sides. I will cut that outline with the flange the whole way around. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I will trace the actual bend line where it starts on the very outer edge of the door skin itself. Now you can do this with any panel, not just a door skin. <clears throat> but then I'll trace out with a marker on the outside, the very outside of the paperwork. That's my going to be my cut line for this next panel. The inner line, as I said, is the actual bin line. So what I do, I take a spring-loaded uh, center punch, and I'll go the whole perimeter. The whole way around. I guess I spring that too much. I'll do that the whole way around. <clears throat> then I'll remove the paper. I've already done this actually, so I'm just showing you folks how this is done. Now you can do this with aluminum or steel, it'll work either way. But as you can see, I'll zoom in on this. You can see the, all the impressions that it leaves the whole way around. Get it to focus. Now obviously aluminum is a lot softer than steel so it's going to mark easier. So then after that, I'll take a straight edge of sorts and I'll line up all those dimple marks. Take a marker. Cut line there. We'll 
do this on all the straight edges. The whole primer. The top. This is the outer cut line here. We'll probably redo that with a flexible ruler. <clears throat> then so I don't screw up, I'll mark cut and bend on each one of those lines. Because that's easy to just go about your day and just accidentally slice the wrong line. So we'll get this ready. <clears throat> I'll get it trimmed up and then we'll start the bending process. All right, just as we did with the first panel. We're going to make sure our machine's clean. We don't want all, any dirt, dust. We're using a lamp, uh, aluminum, aluminum, some people call it. But uh, it's so soft that any debris, it will embed itself right into the substrate. So uh, we'll do that. We'll also do it to our panel. Give it a quick wipe. on the edges where I cut and uh, where I trimmed this all up and they, they will cut you. I want to make sure get this in there and see where we're at. Now, you might have Notice I mentioned bend. We're going to bend this panel. Um, this is really a two-dimensional. It's not really a three-dimensional from what I can tell. Uh, there's going to be a rule this way, but the long way, it's going to remain flat or very near flat. So we're using a slip roller. I'm using a slip roller to do this instead of an English wheel <clears throat> because the door from all photos of course I've never seen a 250 GTO in real life I haven't had that experience but from all the photos all the research I've done in trying to study the vehicle as much as I could it looks like it's remains flat this way so hopefully I'm right and we're just going to two-dimensional this. We got a little slight roll in it. We're through. 
through one more time. We'll take it over to our buck. I'm going to set it on there and see where we're at as far as the bottom section of this goes. All right, so we're ready to check our first fitment. I bent this, I ruled it. As you can see, it has a slight contour on it. This down here uh, has a slight contour, so I'm gonna work on trying to get that close first. The bottom looks fairly good. <clears throat> we'll move up a little bit and we'll tighten it up, make a little bit more of a, a roll here. We'll just work our way up to the top where this is the most radius, as you can see. So, <clears throat> a little bit of a time, at a time, there's no need to rush it. You can't undo what if you went too far. Um, but obviously, if you can get it right the first time, that's always better so but it's a learning process always making mistakes well I wouldn't even call them mistakes it's not failure it's a lesson and uh, you're going to learn something every time you do this if you pay attention to what the metal is doing or what it wants to do um, you'll learn a lot from it so just take your time you know there's no hurry to build this it's been a two year just to get it this far. So um, I'm going to go back over. I'm going to do a little more radiusing on this and uh, be back. Wow, I think I got rather lucky. This is pretty close <clears throat> as is. Um, well, I guess at this point, I'm gonna go over and uh, tip or bend our flanges. I'm gonna put the tipping wheel in for the uh, verticals. The horizontal, since this is straight, I'm going to use a uh, metal brake, one of the metal brakes to do that. So. I'll get that done and we'll be back. All right. So, we got our first panel or our second panel, I'm sorry, of course getting done at the uh, passenger side. What I've done here, um, in order to hold this on, I'll put a uh, screw in here once I get this rocker panel finished up, the shape, the contour coming up around the door. Uh, but what I've done here, If you can see that, I'll grab the uh, camera here. But I've cut grooves in the tops of these ribs for that top lip to set in, as well as the sides and the bottom. This edge where the door skin runs down along. And that'll hold it in place. until we're ready to uh, build the inner part of the, the shell of the door and put it on the chassis itself. So, and then I can keep building 
channels off of this as we go. We get the chassis built, we get all our body mount uh, body mounts set up and on there. Then we can build the insides of, of our skins and whatnot and fasten everything to that chassis and uh, keep building as we go. So there you are. This is going to wrap up uh, part one of the replica Ferrari 250 GTO build. Enjoy and thanks for watching.